uh, someone else mentioned, right, I, I want free information from the MSAR, looking at the MSAR, looking at MCAT GPA. I would love to hear from both of you how you talk to your students about using the MSAR for MCAT and GPA. Because my stance is don't. I think too many students self-select out of applying to schools where they may be fantastic fits. I'm with you in that I think students put too much emphasis on it. They'll be like, I'm below the 10th percentile for the school, even though I'm above for the MCAT and I can't apply. I'm like, no. That's <laughs> um, not I what that being, data says. I think you can use it to help you maybe make a solid school list, but they're not cut and dry. But I think it's that idea of trying to offset right one with the other. So because I'm here and because I have this and I'm solid. Probably the far majority of students are using the MSAR is using it for looking at the GPA and the MCAT and going, I can't apply to these schools. I can't apply to those ones. When students use that data, the schools then only have the students that match the data from last year's class to pick their new class. And so it's like this self-fulfilling ranges because students are too afraid to apply to a school saying, oh, I don't have a chance at that school, so I won't apply. The school then doesn't have the chance to say yes to that student to potentially skew numbers in, in one direction or another. 